Okay, welcome everybody. We're back and we are looking at cranial nerves on Old Olympus. What do you do? I do Old Aliag. Aliag what? Travel, what? travel to Africa for very good vacations and holidays. You know, there's nothing wrong, okay, when you're memorizing something. Nothing wrong. And some people do really well with remembering mnemonics. I'm not into it, okay, because I believe that we're going to use the cranial nerves. And when I'm done, what I want to do is I wanna make sure that students understand how to reason. Right. And so there's different ways. So for example, okay, when I think about the fact that OTs are going to practice assessments, in my labs, we practice the assessment. And as part of the assessment, what I do is I want students to put it together. So give them an example. Let's talk about, okay, the eyes, okay, and the movements of the eyes. We know that optic, the optic nerve number two is the sensory piece. Is the sensory piece, okay, for the eyes. Right. Okay. And we know that cranial nerve number three, cranial nerve number four, and cranial nerve number six, those three move your eyes right. up, down, lateral, medial, the whole deal. Okay, so again, if you're assessing them, then you're thinking about moving and looking at those areas. Now, I always know that when we skip the six, we left five open, and five is? The trigeminal. The trigeminal nerve. And so when we think about the trigeminal nerve, okay, we know a number of things about it. But one of the things that I remember about the trigeminal nerve is that when we get to the Glasgow, okay, and we're looking at someone who's in a stage two coma on the Glasgow, okay, one of the things that I know is there's certain things, okay, certain uh, sensations that we're not supposed to use. Right, like ammonia or vinegar, for example. Or they're menthol gonna, they're gonna or peppermint, okay? They're all ones that you don't use. You see, the application to that makes more sense to me because it'll irritate the trigeminal nerve. Exactly. So, and then, and then we have the whole concept of eating and swallowing. Right, and I think the best way to think about those cranial nerves that are involved in eating and swallowing is to think of them in relation to the stage. So you're gonna have some that are involved in the first two stages, the oral prep phase and then the oral phase, and then you're gonna have some that are involved in the involuntary phases, which are the pharyngeal phase and then the esophageal phase. We won't go into that super in detail now because that's something that we go over in our topic session on OT Health Desk. And, and students, many times, they kind of dismiss, okay, feeding, eating, and swallowing, when in fact, it's actually very easy okay, to do what Joseph was just talking about and use the cranial nerves to help us understand it. So many times you think about cranial nerves and you can memorize them. Again, I choose not to. I tend to apply them and use it in clinical reasoning. Now I know in OT Help Desk, okay, we spend a great deal of time in what we call topic sessions where we actually will give a difficult question and then we'll break it down as to how you reason it using things like the feeding and swallowing cranial nerves or the vision where we get into things like hemianopsias, okay? And understanding, okay, movement, like that's not there in terms of like Bell's palsy, okay? Those are ways to actually take what you memorized already. Don't worry, you already memorized it, okay? Come join us. And we'll go through um, the cranial nerves in terms of how to assess them. And we'll go through cranial nerves and we'll give you a way, okay, to apply it in a way that helps you to reason, yes. okay, when you answer test questions. And we got a whole topic session on that. All right. Okay, well, uh, we're going to move on and we're going to get into the cranial nerves and how to assess them. And then, again, look for, okay, cranial nerves. Okay, using our wingman process and how to develop your clinical reasoning skills around them. All right then, we'll see you next.